Hi guys, it's Peggy from Peggy's Tropical Garden. Thanks for joining me today for the grand reveal of my garden makeover. First, we'll start off with the cactus and succulent bed. Believe it or not, everything in this garden bed is from my old garden. So we just reused the same plants, the same wood pieces, the same coral rock that's used for this border. The only thing that we purchased is the top dressing. Here you see some of my aloe and agave plants, a few succulents, crown of thorns, some more aloe, hedgehog aloe, blue elf aloe, and of course, some of my desert rose plants. Now some of these plants will have to be replanted. As I mentioned before in one of the other um, segments of this video series, the landscape designer is not real familiar with succulents. So she just kind of planted them in a place where she thought that they would be able to thrive. And I'm going back and kind of just changing a few things to get them, you know, in a way that I like them or grouped in a manner that uh, will make it so that they can actually, you know, live, stay in the same place for the duration. My old garden, I had a lot of pots everywhere. I really like how clean this garden is. I'm still you know putting the lights in place and stuff like that so you see some of the cords and all but i love the more clean look that it has that the garden has now um, i love the contrast of the tipped over pot with the lava rock coming from it now this yucca plant that we're looking back looking at is the only plant that is in the same place it's the only plant that was in the bed that was over here so some more of my agave plants agave blue glow right there absolutely love it here's some of my pacopodium plants that are doing very well planted in the ground I love it and my sensevaria uh, cylindrica behind the pot look how healthy these pacopodium are love them love them And that's the cactus and succulent bed. Along the front wall, we decided to go with native plants. Uh, we're using Simpson stoppers, uh, Spanish stoppers, Jamaica capers, Bahama coffee plants, uh, Pilea fern. Um, the trees will eventually provide, you know, privacy as they get taller. The crepe myrtle had, was here from the old garden. And as you see, the pilia um, border plants, my desert rose tucked in there in a pot. And here I use some bromeliads. And this croton was also from the previous garden. And down here, we have an agave attenuata. This is one from I, one of my purchases that uh, had a disease and I ended up cutting off all the leaves. If you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. And here is my prized desert rose that used to be in the ground. It's been trimmed back again. And as you can see now, it's in a dish. We're gonna treat it as a bonsai and it will remain in a dish. Another agave attenuata and croton for symmetry. And over here are uh, some of the very few pots that will be included in the garden and my huge sticks on fire that was already planted there. Okay. And there we see crown of thorn and an elephant bush. And here you have another opening and path and another sticks on fire for symmetry. Palm tree over here, another, some more native plants. And I will be also adding some more plants in there. 
couple of potted up plants on, on the wall, the barrier wall made of the coral rock once again. Kind of a look from the outside in the yard, overall view of the garden. And there's that big agave that used to be beside the boardwalk in the front garden, but it was just too big. So we had to move it. And here's my bromeliad bed. Um, you know I love a good bromeliad. I love that they have their own area. And the, bee, the bees love coming over here to get water from the bromeliads. And here you see a ginger lily and a variegated bromeliad. And over here is my orchid tree that has always been here, but uh, the landscaper added a little mister to the top. I leave these out year round. It's just so hot here that they can get very dry. So every three days we give them a good misting. And here's the view coming down the boardwalk to the side garden. Now we just showed this area. Just wanted you to see, you know, be able to see where everything is. And you come on over and here is the waterfall area. And this waterfall was already here. I built this a few years ago. And I have some little bromeliads tucked in there. It too is built using coral rock. Over here, once again, we use the native trees to kind of mask the view of the beehives. There's another agave attenuata tucked in there. And here is one of my hanging orchids. And it just so happens to be in bloom right now. If you look closely, you can see there's a few crotons tucked in also. There's the flowers on this dendrobium. And there's another native flowering plant that the bees are truly loving. Another orchid hanging there by a ponytail palm. Some more um, crotons. There's a ground orchid. There's a quarter line tucked in there. and another ground orchid. Now I'll continue to plant in these beds to kind of thicken them up and add a variety of plants. I love these planters along the screen porch. This one has a pygmy date palm, euphorbia, another euphorbia, and another. And then this blue cactus which I love. This thing has gotten huge since I purchased it. And I haven't had it that long. Maybe about five months. And then if you notice, we have some beautiful purple uh, bromeliads planted in between each pot, which contrasts very nicely to the, um, the gray rock. And I also have some succulents tucked in each pot. So hopefully they'll fill in the bottom and kind of overflow. And here's another pygmy date palm at this end. All right, this is where the fountain is now, right off of the porch. So this is now my view from the screen porch. Very nice, and I can hear the waterfall from here. I really love how things turned out. And here's just a couple of shots of the garden.
I'd like to thank Personal Landscaping of Miami for all the hard work in making this garden happen. I couldn't have done it without them. I'm very pleased with the end results. If you think you may be interested in hiring a professional landscape designer, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a video on things to consider and lessons learned. I'd also like to send a shout out to two of my loyal subscribers, Linda and Phil in Washington State. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by Peggy's Tropical Garden.